uh, so that is um, is our um, VST loading uh, project, or I don't know, or we, uh, Carl called it uh, PD Pulp. Um, so I just will play some sound. So it's just a, um, a very simple view data patch with some some parameters. And so, um, but the patch um, that's running in there, it's here. So, uh, pretty um, simple uh, synth engine uh, with, uh, yeah, eight parameters you can change. And you can see like the um, descriptions in here are the same, like they are in the, um, yeah, EST mm -hmm. plugin in Ableton Live. And if and so the idea is you can you can create your own PD patches uh, with like eight or or ten parameters, and to get the parameters work in Ableton Live is uh, you do the naming here, like uh, cut off, cut off, and then this knob should work. Maybe not. Uh, maybe because uh, uh, it's mm -hmm. existing double now, so cut off two. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's working. Yeah, so this is actually like the the second part of the whole project. We first started with what Fabian and uh, Oliver came up with at the hackathon. <coughs> Um, which was really only um, a plugin that had no GUI at all. It was just, if you imagine this closed, it was just um, down here. Like all these uh, all, uh, parameters would, would be um, yeah, set up uh, down there. And um, what, what we did here was kind of like the, the second step was like taking this idea and then just create some kind of container for, for you to, to run your own um, PD patch. You can um, search for a patch on your on your hard drive here and then you choose it and then you can actually um, set like 10 of these parameters for for like whatever you would want and um, so and you can also edit your patch in here right like right in here so okay. this kind of like becomes like I don't know some if you know reactor is, is very similar because you can open reactor as a VST plugin and just edit your patch right inside the door so this is kind of like is going in this direction I have a feeling and um, yeah so if you if you build your patch in here you can see that um, those parameters up in the top here they have like um, this receive um, value set. Mm -hmm. You can also just use the, the usual receive uh, object in pure data works the same way and all of these um, values are, are going to, to, to come from, from here you, when, you, when you enter the, the same kind of um, identifier. So this is um, yeah this is kind of like the, the current state of development and um, you can um, if you edit something in here um, you can you, you should save and then you hit hit reload to get to get the current new patch inside so yeah that's kind of like the whole idea